What's up, guys? It's your girl, Chaotic Wolfos, in the house! Let's get furious! And we are back again with PDO Season 6. And we are in the singles division this time, guys. Which is pretty interesting if I do say so myself. But we are gonna go over our team builder for the week against the. Uh, Kiranovic? Kiranovica? Syndicals? I don't know how to say your name, Soya. I'm sorry if I botched that name. We're going against Soy Salamonster. And it's gonna be an interesting team for sure. But first up on our agenda is covering what team we're bringing. We are going with. We got a team of 12 mons. Our 6 mons we are going with this week. Starting off the team is Sidon. This is our Vaporeon, modest nature, VIP leftovers, water absorb. Not shiny, obviously, because I didn't get it. I didn't get the shiny, obviously. It's going with the modest. It's a little bit, uh, it's got the scold, the ice beam, the wish, the haze. It's a very bulky one this week. It's got 350 special attack, 401 with HP, all those good stats. It's a little bit slower, but I'm counting on it to be uh, bulky. I made it a little bit bulky with the 252 uh, special attack and 252 defense with uh, 4 leftover in special defense. And I'm hoping it does a lot of damage with the modest ability, that ice beam, the scold. Those are there for the skulls there for the stab, honestly. Um, where are my notes for Soy? Yeah. But Soy's team has a lot of weaknesses to water types and a lot of weakness to ice types. So I thought Vaporeon was a good bring with that ice beam for that ice step and that skull because I could get a cheeky burn off. And his stab with that modest ability should be helpful. Wish is there to help my bulk with the leftovers, cause I wanna be kinda... Hey, I'm bulky. Hey, I wanna live longer. Oh, hey, I'm about to die. Let's wish. Next, and hopefully uh, next turn we can heal. And then the Haze is there just in case some mod gets set up on me. I wanted to originally go Toxic for uh, this one, but... Toxic is an older gen move that can't be taught in this gen, so... I have no way to teach that, so I had to go for go Toxic, sadly. But... Sidon is our Vaporeon. I'm hoping he does great things. Great things for this. He can take down... Uh, let's see. He can take down the Blaziken. He can take on Rose Raid. I mean, not Rose Raid. They got rid of Rose Raid. Duh! Uh, originally it was Rose Raid. But he can take down Tugkiss. Tugatis. Um, Vaporeon's there for the Torkoal as well. Because I noticed that he's got like sort of a Sun team going on. But before he ends there to use the sun to its uh, waterish thing. I know water's not very good in sun. I don't know what I'm jammered about. Um, I can take on the Galarians in mode Dermont Dermonaton. Takes on the Haxorus with the ice beam. It can uh, take on the Volcarona with its water typing. It can take on both Leafeon and Tangrowth as well. Be with the uh, ice beam as well. But it's a very weird matchup in that, because it's a water type, obviously weak to grass. But I'm hoping the little, little extra bulk helps. Extra modest ability helps. So, I'm hoping that helps a lot with the team and all that. I know he drew, he got rid of a Concursion for Klefki, so that didn't help my matters too much more. And then they got rid of Rosary for Scrafty, which didn't help either. So I'm like, eeeeh. But I was already prepped for Scrafty because someone else had drafted it, so I was already prepped for that. But, moving on to our next member of our team. We got... Gabora. Our Decidueye. This is gonna rock in the expert belt with the super effective moves. Because I also noticed that they have a flying weakness with all the grass mons they got. So, I'm like, I need a good flying mon. But I want to have a good grass mon just in case they bring uh, good mons. Like I think Soy has, uh, yeah, Soy has Rotom Wash, so I want to be able to handle the Rotom Wash and that. So 
I'm hoping that Rotom Wash will be taken down with the Leaf Blade in that. But we got Expert rocking. This one's a, a little bit bulky as well. I made my Mons mostly bulky this week, so... 252 attack at each EVs, and then 152 HP EVs, 96 defense, 6 special defense, and 4 speed. Because I had 4 left over and I didn't want to put it in special attack or boost it, so... Yeah. It's uh, pretty interesting nonetheless. With um, team buildups and that. For that. It's um, adamant nature because I wanted it to be more of an attacker with the long reach so it doesn't have to worry about the rocky helmets and stuff like that. Unless they have Mold Breaker. I got Brave Bird on here for stab. It may hurt, but I got it for stab. I got Spirit Shackle just in case I need to lock someone in and it's also stab. Brave Bird's not stab, I know. Shush. Defog is there, if, uh, just in case someone wants to set up hazards, and I want to get rid of those stupid hazards. And the Leaf Blade is there for stab as well, because who doesn't like a stab Leaf Blade in the face? I was hoping, um, yeah, I was hoping it would be a little bit easier for my team decisions, but team decisions are hard when it comes to these games. I'm hoping Gabora does a Gabora does a wonders for the team with that extra flying type move. That might help out a lot. Moving on, we have our next member of the team, Tiktaik. 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 I don't know how to say it. Also, my whole team is Legend of Zelda theme, so deal with it. It's all named after monsters and, and creatures and people in the Legend of Zelda world, so. I don't know why, I just was on a Zelda kick for now, so that's what my team's gonna be. We got Thormaldo rocking the Life Orb over here, hoping it boosts that. We got the two, 152 HP, 250 attack, 96 special defense, 6 defense, and 4 speed. I wanted to boost that special defense because it's already got a decent defense, so I wanted to make them a little bit more even to get the little bulk there, just in case they run a little bit special in that. I also wanted to have a higher HP stats because it didn't have too much of an HP, but I wanted to rock that. So it could be taking, tanking more hits. Like I said, this team's a little bit more bulky this week. So I'm hoping that does work for this. It's battle armor, so it can't be crit, which is very, uh, well, I lose a lot of mods to crits, so I don't want to lose to crits as well, so. We are rocking Aqua Jet for priority, just in case we need to get that priority off. We got Stone Edge for stab. That powerful Stone Edge is gonna help it. Stoy's team has a lot of rock weakness because it's got he's got a lot of fire types. And you know, I was hoping the little rock would help. X scissors, bug, stab. He is so weak to bug with those grass types, so if he brings the grass types, which I think he will. And speed. It's a little bit slower, honestly, but he's got Earthquake on there because uh, most of the teams I've noticed have a ground weakness. I don't know why everybody's like, oh yeah, I want to manage your ground weakness on my team. So I noticed they had a pretty ground, big ground weakness on some of the teams. I put Adamant, so it's a little bit more uh, attack at the stab. And it's built for bulk. Yeah, it's a little bit slower, but it hits like a truck. So watch out if it actually gets a, a hits off because it's basically built to be a bulky sweeper. Moving on. Well, we got our next member. Oh yeah, you know it. I drafted Garchomp with this. We are bringing Erlophos, which is our Garchomp. She's bad, she's mean, she goes, ah, and eats your beans. I don't know why it's greens, but okay. But she's rocking the Rocky Helmet to do that damage upon um, contact, because I know a lot of people like to hit it. She is rocking the 252 speed, the 252 attack, and 4 special defense, because they have a lower special defense than defense. So I wanted to make it a little bit more even when I made that, so... She's gonna be adamant. I know it's weird, he's gonna adamant when most people run Jolly. 
I wanted to be more of a, a t I wanted to give that a little extra stab and attack over the speed this time around. It may bite me in the butt. I don't know. We shall see. She's rocking the earthquake for that ground stab. She's got poison jab for the extra uh, poisonish ness like the for those grass type bonds that are pesky and that it's like, oh hey, they're gonna send the grass that's hurt my ground type. Nope, here's some poison jabs for you. Got outrage because I like to have a little bit of outrage in there. Cause it's the Angie. Oh yeah, did I mention she's rough skin? So Rocky Helmet rough skin. Oof, that's gonna hurt. Also got that stone edge because like I said, they got a big rock weakness and I didn't want to bring all rock mons this week. So I wanted to bring that extra stone edge, just in case. I know it's uh, not guaranteed to hit, and with my luck it might not hit at all, so... I'm hoping it works out well. I'm really hoping. It handles a lot of the members in the team, like Blazekin, and it also can handle... Um, the Zen Mode Galarian Dalmatan, the Torkoal. I know I didn't really mention these with these, it can handle Haxorus. Handles the Volcarano with that uh, rock move. It handles oh uh, Tangrowth a little bit with the poison, and it handles Leafeon with the poison as well. So I'm hoping that helps out a little bit. And because it's fast, most of my other team, all my other teams were a little bit slower, but this one's built for more speed-wise. And I built it for speed, honestly, because I didn't want all my mods to be slow. But I'm hoping it works out for me. Moving on to the next member of the team. We got Najeron. Najeron's our Excadrill. Like I said, I built these teams a little bit more bulky this week. Like, with this one, I had... I have the Assault Vest, the use that special defense. Yeah, I know most people run uh, Excadrill with the Sword Dance and that, but I did not want to run Sword Dance this week. I wanted to be bulky, and I wanted to be fast, and I wanted to be hitting like a truck and causing you pain, misery, etc. So that is why she is adamant. She has got the 252 speed. She's got the 252 attack and the 4 special defense to boost that special defense just a little bit more. I know uh, you don't have the best defenses or the best def special defense, but the assault best I'm hoping is going to help out. I'm also running Mold Breaker this week because I wanted to uh, not have to worry about certain abilities of certain mons that I feel like should be coming, not coming, etc. etc. She is running the Earthquake for that stab. Honestly, Earthquake go burr, because ground types, like I said, so his team's pretty weak to ground. He's got, he's got like four mons weak to ground. And I got the poison jab for those gra pesky grass types. And I don't know if so I don't remember so Yeah, he has that fairy type, but because it's a steel type, the poison jab won't help. I got that iron head for that stab of the, that. I don't know why I'm rocking iron head, probably for the Togatus. Uh, but the Togus and I'm trying to remember what else I've had Iron Head on here. I know I had it for an extra for that, but I don't remember why I haven't dubbed the Iron Heads as much. But yeah, Iron Heads I think just to get rid of that Togatus, because that Togatus is a direct uh, counter to my Garchomp for Aerophos. I don't want to have to worry about that. But yeah, she's got the old breaker. She bulky. Hopefully I can work out with the salt vest. And that's moving on. We got our last hold on. We got our last member of the team. We got Volga. Volga is our male. Leftovers and Cineroar. He's bad. He's bad. He gonna take your dad. Boom! I don't know why that was it, but deal with it. Oh yeah, well, I meant to say the extra drill before that, though, was able to handle most of his team like that. Not as much as that one, but yeah, we're moving. What with the scenario? We got leftovers, because we're gonna use the heal stall. We built this one a little bit bulky, 
Not many people run it as bulky as I did, but I wanted to go bulky. And Thimbadate to lower those attack stats, those pesky mons and all that. This one is a built a little bit weird. It is adamant for that boosted attack with the 252 attack IVs. EVs, IVs. Words with those words. But yeah, it's built with the 252 attack EVs. And then I also have 22 in the HP, 118 in defense, as you can see, and 118 in special defense, because I wanted it to be a little bit more even with its uh, defense and special defense, keep them there even. Make it a little bit bulkier to tank more hits. He is rocking Flare Blitz. That's why the leftovers are there, for the help out with that. Instead of a life orb, it'd be leftovers. That way he can use the move and then recover the damage after the turn's up. I got U-Turn just, just in case I need to switch out real fast. Be like, hey, uh, you send out that mod, I'm going to U-Turn real quick. Bye. I'm getting out of here. I got Fake Out for that cheeky come out like, oh, hey, I'm first out. Fake Out. Get Faked Out. And then I also have the Parting Shot. So I can be like, bye, have a weakness attack and, and special attack. And let me send out a new mod that can just be like, Wreck your shop. Wreck it. Just wreck your shop. Like Molly said, Mo all my team, as you notice, are... All my team's basically adamant this week. I wanted to, I'm more physical over special this week, but I figured uh, physical was better this week. I wanted to go more physical. All my mods except for Corian are physical, and they're built some tank hits and to be bulky while they're tanking the hits and then once they tank the hit they hit back harder like a hit, a, hit like a wobble fast counter or a mirror coat that's what they're built like I'm hoping it works out for this I'm hoping it all works out uh, like I said I'm not the best at team building yet but I'm working on it I'm hoping my prep works well for Soy he's gonna be a tough opponent now we're gonna get into what I think Soy is gonna bring for the week. Also, Incineroar, let me hear, just to say what Incineroar can handle. Incineroar gets rid of the, um, Togatus. It's there, it can take it. It's not gonna be pleasant, but it can take it. It's there mainly for the Espeon if he brings it. It's there for the Tungrowth, the Leafeon. It's there for the Cluffkey. Just in case he brings Clef Key, because that's going to hurt. And it's also there for everything else. I know I didn't bring anything for um, Scrafty this week. I didn't bring anything for Scrafty as much, but I'm hoping my fighting at the Scrafty doesn't come. What I'm hoping, he, I'm, what I'm thinking he's going to be bringing though to be honest, is he's gonna bring that Rotom Wash, cause he probably thinks I'm running my sand team, cause I do have a thing to set up sand, and I could run a sand team. Will I run a sand team? I don't know, let's just see. We shall see if I run a sand team or not. I have all the means to do so, but doesn't mean I will. I don't know, maybe I just brought it there for the memes, who knows? We shall see. But I'm thinking he's gonna bring the Rotom Wash, Definitely gonna bring that Togekiss because he's- I'm pretty sure he knows I'm bringing Garchomp. And Togekiss is the direct counter to Garchomp. So I'm pretty sure he's bringing the Togekiss. I'm almost 100% sure that he's bringing the Galarian Dermanitan because there's no reason why. I may have a lot of rock type mods, but Galarian Dermanitan is ice. He's- and most of my team is weak to ice types, I've noticed. So, I'm pretty sure he's like, oh hey, I'm gonna rock that and bring that. I'm pretty sure because he thinks I'm running a sand team, he's gonna bring Tangrowth as well. To use the grass moves and hurt my uh, grass weakness. And he's gonna probably bring Leafeon as well. And I believe the final mom will be either Clefkey or Espeon. No, it'll be Leafeon, Tangrowth. Laren's uh, out, I Scrotum Wash, and I think it's gonna be either Clefkey or Espeon. Though he might bring Scrafty as well, one of those three. 
So, but I'm thinking he's gonna bring that, uh, that, uh, Clef P to be cheeky, because I've seen Soy get dude battles in general, and Soy's kind of scary and likes those, uh, he likes to set up those reflex, he likes to set up the crafty shields and stuff like that, and Clef Key's like perfect counters for that. And then I think either Hex, not Hex, or so, like Scrafty or Espeon are going to be coming. Espeon because it's so good. With the magic bells or the synchronized, thinking I could toxic him and all that. Or Scrafty's really good because it's Scrafty, obviously. Scrafty's pretty annoying, nonetheless, so. Eeh. I'm hoping my team does well this week, though. I hope my prep pays off. And my battle later. I did this team builder right before the battle. So, I'm hoping this team rocks. I'm hoping this team prepped well. If not, I'll be scrapping this team and doing a different one for the next time I face Soy. Because Soy's my rival. I have to face him three times in the season. So, face him week one, week four, and then week seven, I think, is the last week. Yeah. Yep, I face him in those those th I face him three times, so I have three chances to beat him. And this is the best three of uh, versus three three v three. I think. It's three v three. It's three v three, best out of three, stuff like that. So no GMXs, no Dynamaxes, you don't have to worry about that. But I'm really hoping my team does well. I've prepped well, I'm hoping it does well. And, yeah, so, thank you guys for watching, I appreciate you hanging out, hopefully my battle is about well for this, so, this is your girl, Catacolfos, signing off, stay safe, keep howling, and stay furious, my friends, bye!